Anthony Fasano here from the Engineering Management Institute and in this video, this Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts video, I'm here at the offices of Louis Berger. I'm here with Muzamil Hussein who is the Department Manager in the Structural Department and we did a full interview for the Civil Engineering Podcast but for this video what I want to know from Muzamil is I deal with a lot of engineering managers. He works on a lot of big projects. He manages them and he's not a stressed out guy. I'm, I'm in his office with him. I'm saying, man, you you got it. You held it all together. So what I want to ask him in this video is, Musimil, these projects are big. They can be stressful. You deal with big clients, a lot of teams, consultants. How do you maintain your ability to be calm in these types of situations? It's a good question. Uh, generally, I don't get stressed with my job. Right. It's because I'm passionate about it. Um, uh, I love what I do, so solving a problem or s solving an issue, it, it's, it gives me more energy actually. If there is an issue, I fo get more focused and sure. try to get, so uh, my um, motto is there got to be a better way of doing things. Hmm. So I always think Sounds what, like an engineer. <laughs> what is what is you know why why this and why not this? Right. I don't just focus on what are the standards. I always try to innovate, come up with something new, something different. So, as far as the stress aspect, yes, it could be stress if you if the project is delayed, um, client is looking for the submission. Right. Yes, that's. But it. how do you that's stay it. calm when that's something stress, comes up? But like, it's just foreseeing things you know just foresee uh, you have set up a schedule you want to make sure that you your your goals are way ahead of that you right. want to you want to complete the task way ahead of uh, ahead of time and as long as you're passionate about it you're focused on it I think uh, personally I don't get stressed about the work right aspect certainly dealing dealing with the team, making sure all the t you know team, everybody is is, um, is is focused on what needs to be done, uh, that aspect. And if someone gets stressed on that aspect, uh, you know that's that gives you a, a feel of you know you feel down about it. But personally, uh, I love what I do. Uh, it just doesn't give me stress. Any if there's an any issue uh, that gives me more energy to to really uh, focus um, in in. Get, get the resolution, actually. That, that hmm, that's interesting. So as opposed to getting stressed when a problem comes up, you get energized and you want to focus and you want to innovate around it. Sure. Right, so it's almost like an opportunity. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's an issue that means there's, there's something that either nobody thought about or something happened that uh, there's no solution to it. So right. at, that gives me energy that I got to come up with a solution. Mm -hmm. That's very solution interesting. That. that reminds me of being an athlete who's down in the, at the end of the game and they say, here's the ball. If you don't hit this shot, we lose. But the athletes, give me the ball. I want to take the shot because this is where I can thrive. So that's very interesting. And, and one other thing I just want to touch on, going back to what you said earlier, do you feel that because you have good project controls here, and you can see the data and you can see what's going on, that that helps you also to reduce stress? Certainly, I mean that's that's one uh, you know one aspect that uh, on the technical or or financial side right. that helps to make sure that you're on track. Uh, that certainly helps, and in how we do individual uh, project controls on individual project and on the corporate uh, level as well. Uh, but the stress aspect again uh, is just being you know passionate about what you do. Right. It just uh, being you know, excited about pro facing yeah. problems head on and innovating. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's I great. I mean, there will be problems because what we do as a as an engineering firm is a teamwork. You know, I I can't be doing everything by myself. Right. So, you know, bringing together the team and the best resources. I think that's um, right. Um, you know that's that's the goal. That's yeah, and I think the reason that I wanted to talk with Musimil about this question specifically for this video was because it can be a stressful profession, and there will be stresses. I'm not saying that there won't be, but the key takeaways I think from this video that I see are two things: one, when you're faced with problems or stressful situations, get excited about it. You know, 
that's your chance as an engineer to solve a problem and sure. that's what we're that's created what we're to do right that's that's, that's our do. job yeah. number one and number two you know have good project data because I do feel like if you're in the dark and you don't understand where your projects at that can be stressful because you don't have visibility into it sure. so with those two things thank you Musa Hussein from Lewis Berger for again doing the podcast with us doing this video with us we really do appreciate it thank you thanks Anthony. and for those of you watching on YouTube remember to subscribe to the 80 20 videos in the playlist by just clicking the red button below we, we hope that we can continue to serve you thank you